hey everybody welcome back to the channel today we're going to do my completed pages for may and june the reason being it being a joint one is i only actually colored six pages in the entirety of june i was very ill at the beginning of the month we went on holiday i was too hot to sit outside and do anything and when i was inside coloring jennifer wanted me to color with her which is fair enough so i've combined it with July and July I coloured like 23 24 pages it was quite a good month I had a really good time so the first ones I coloured were in 50 celestial mandalas colour by number by Sachin Suchadeva I love anything celestial and I love these colour by number books they're nice and simple they're not too difficult and they make me happy so <laughs> they're nice and quick so these are the ones I have done they would have been used in various um markers most likely the oh hoo hoo water based ones the ones i tend to use for these uh color by number books but i really love this little sun one i'm gonna have to do some more in this one i think this month and then this one and again this is just using the um uh, oh hoo hoo water based markers and this, one. this is how much i like it i did three uh, three of my six were like these mm -hmm. So that's that book. Keep that one out to do some more in. I of course did a couple more in stained glass Egyptian windows uh, designs. Sorry, stained glass Egyptian designs, because this is one of my absolute favourites. And again, this was done using the Ohuhu water-based uh, markers. Um, this is one book I'm certainly going to be finishing at some point, either next year or this year. Did the two in there. I love this book. So I've done quite a lot in there. Uh, yeah, and nothing special, they're just, just basic colouring. I did one in Stardust Space Lust by Carla Garner. This was a buddy colour with Chelsea from Chelsea's Creative Escapes. Um, I always love doing a buddy colour with her every month and it's usually a Carla Garner. This is all done with glitter gel pens except for the back which was just done with a plain black marker. I think it was the bold new ones from the works. The rest of it's all various glitter gel pens. So I love it. I love the shiny. We've got um, Link Shine, we've got Pencil Dual Hybrid, and I believe we've also got some Jelly Rolls. Then I finally finished, I did a lot of finishing whips in June and July, uh, mainly in July, and this was one of them. Fairies and Friends. This is Current Heaven Junior, and these are by Molly Harrison. And I did this one with, this was using mostly the Derwent Colorsoft pencils, some glitter gel pen and some blue acrylic paint I got from Watt for the background, which I really like. I like that paint, it's really nice. I'll be using that again. It's very shiny, as if Jennifer doesn't steal it from me. <laughs> She's so cute, but I like that. Yeah, I like that paint, it's really good. So that was one that have been hanging around for a, a month or so. I did one in uh, Beautiful Women, a Grey Scale Coloring Book by Ava Brown. This is one from Colour Hall 2022. Just simply because I've got so many books and I'm trying to colour in them slowly. And I did this one, again this was done with various markers. I think that's the one of my many skin tones I've got. I'm not actually sure, I think it's the uh, Arteza F Blend. Um, it, and these ones I think are the twin markers from B&M. Yeah. And we've just got some glitter over the top. How, what, how did I do that glitter? So I have no idea how I did that glitter. That just goes to show you how uh, I'm not with it. I've got green mark and, and I've got gold glitter on the bottom and I'm not actually sure how I did it. <laughs> oh dear me. Yeah, I like it though. It's very pretty. It's a lovely book. Next, we've got one from Mermaid Whimsy by Deborah Muller. Again, this is another one for Colour Your Hoard 2022. I can find it. And I did this one, again, using various markers and glitter gel pens. Take the back of it out there. Use that, use that again. Um, I did a little, lovely little mermaid sitting on a, a swing with a little fish. Gel pens and various various markers. I think they're mostly our ever blend ones looking at it. But I love this book. Mind you, I love anything to do with Deborah Muller. Next we've got uh, Witch Fantasy by Colour Christopia. I did loads in here and I've not marked any of them by the look of it. Uh, 
I've got the next one marked. Um, how many did I do? I think I did three or four. Cool. Because uh, I'm doing a budgie colour in this this month with uh, one of my subscribers. Again, this has been done using the uh, I'd say a hoo hoo markers, the uh, water based ones. It has gone through a bit, but they tend to. But oh, look at that, that's so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I really like this book as well. It's a nice one to, to play with and colour with. Um, and that one. <coughs> so like I said, I'm doing a buddy colour in this one, so I'll have to keep this one out as well. Not complaining at all. I love my buddy colours. And then I did one in 100 Swirls by Jade Summer. And I did this apple. This is why I just pick every now and again when I just fancy doing a, a quick colour one. And it was done using sharpies and oh gosh what are they called gosh i can even see them and i can't tell you what they're called uh anyway another sort of sharpie type pen um but yeah i just enjoyed it lots of different greens and yellows and some red that's all it is i missed a bit i'll have to finish that off i didn't realize i'd missed that bit off i'll do is i'll finish that before i put the book away but it's the pants I did Hannah Lynn, a sweet and simple Women's Girls Mermaids and More to Colour. Uh, I did this one. I think this one was using the new the Spectrum Noir skin tones. Oh, I love them. I do love them. I will definitely be getting them again. Um, various other markers. I don't know. I sort of mix and match them. I mix Everblends with Boldmere with the twin markers. There is um, Pentel Jewel Hybrid on there as well for some glitter. I like that. And a bit of pencil. No, that was another one of the skin tones from the Spectrum Noir for a bit of blush. I quite like the way they blend. I must say I do like that. I might get them again. I might I might get some more of them. Okay. I am now moving on to a few that I have had hanging around for a while that are whips. You'll remember seeing this one in a uh, whips page to be finished. And this is this double page spread in Lost Ocean by Johanna Basford. It took forever to do. I used various water-based markers. Now to be fair, even water-based has gone through slightly. Um, the Ohuhu water markers and we've got some glitter gel pen. I think that was the Sakura Jelly Rolls on the, the tails. A uh, bit of glitter on her little bra and obviously um, the one that has a crown has got uh, some mark on there but yeah I mean it, it is just a wallpaper page but it was quite fun it took a long time to do but I'm glad it's done now this next one I've had hanging around for four to between four and six years I don't think I, I've done little bits on it but not a lot since Jennifer was born and this is colour your own graphic novel of Dracula by Bram Stoker now I love Dracula by Bram Stoker and I've had this page incomplete for ages and at the moment what I'm trying to do is complete all my whips I'm trying to get rid of them all so now I've got a cart which I've got my books in it some of some of my supplies and, and colouring books at the moment that's got all my whips in it but I want to get it down so I can put what I want to colour in for the month in it rather than whips so I have got my whips down from a massive pile to a small pile and I'm still working through it so I'm really proud of myself for, for actually cracking on with them so there's that one that was hanging around for ages uh, fledgling fairies special this is quite a recent one um, I did I love these actually if I find it this one where are you? there she is uh, and this was this is all done in pencil and uh, I don't know which one polychromos I think potentially some oh, I have to think I'm gonna have to start writing it down on the pages when I do pencil because I can never remember uh, polychromos. I started with polychromos, I know that, and I think I finished it off with prisoners, but I'm not sure. But it definitely started with polychromos, I remember that. And I think she's just stunning. I think it's a gorgeous picture, it's a gorgeous book, I absolutely love it. Back to the whips that have been here forever, well not forever, but this is another one that's been hanging around for a while. I started this off using neon pens gels and I hated it so I went and just got the glitters and went over it and I love the way these patterns look 
they are absolutely fantastic whether you do it with these or with water-based markers they just look brilliant you know you need quite a fine tip which is why I like using the gels but you know they look like floor patterns you know you would have got a Roman villa or something like that um, but that took a long time to do that took several days to be honest it's just so much but I do like it oh I did another Deborah Muller this one is oh sassy and classy pinups we did this one in a colour and chat it's a very quick one remember very very quick one uh, that says Cinderella never asked for a prince she asked for a night off and a dress and again this was done with various markers including I think uh, Everblend, Boldmere or how, what are they called twin markers I don't know um, but yeah there's some gel pen on her dress to give it a bit of sparkle that was a nice simple one to do there is another version of it as you see I forgot to put the thing in and things gone through there but it's fine I love it it's a great book I just think it's so simple. It doesn't need a background, that one. The next one I've got is a Mandalas for Beginners. Again, this is Jade Summer. I'm doing a lot of Jade Summer at the moment. In fact, a lot of the pictures I've covered this week have been Jade Summer. I've done like five Jade Summer pictures already, and three of them are in books I've never covered in before. Well, I know. So, yeah, Mandalas for Beginners. I did, if I can get to it. Oh, gosh I've done a few in here this one with the little seals I thought I'd go really mad and do the seals pink it's very bright as you can see <laughs> but I, I kind of like these I might do like why have I done one of these in glitter yeah I have I might do the next one in glitter you never know but there's uh, that one I've got to find somewhere to put these books now once I finish then I got out the, because I wanted to colour unicorns, as I said in my haul, I got out the Jade Summer Kids colouring book unicorns. I have coloured in this before, but I wanted to colour in it again. And I did this one. Again, it's all glitter gel pen, because why not? Oh, I love it. It was so much fun. This is a pen tell to your hybrids, mostly. And I think it was um, a link shine on the background. But, oh, it's so sparkly. I really like that one. Yeah, that was nice. I always enjoyed doing that. And it was sparkles. I end up covering the glitter from the glitter gel pen. It ends up everywhere, all over the bedspread, all over me. I'm just drinking some water. Another Jade Summer one. Mandala, flower mandalas. I do colour these sort of books in, in page order. So, and this one's very bright. Now, I was using the... 60 set of gel pens from the works the scribblicious but the one i was using for background went out so i had to use a different one so it's not as sparkly and it's slightly different green but i thought i'm not going to wait until i go to the works and pick them up or order them from online because to get free shipping you got to pay five quid and i'm not doing that so i just used that up yeah they haven't got a lot of ink in them to be fair i would expect a gel pen to do that entire background but it was fun i enjoyed it i was watching youtube when i was doing that i can't remember what it was I finally did another one in this 101 Unique Mandalas by Camellia Angel Cova. I'd only done one in here before, to get to, which was that one. And this time I did this one. And this is done in pencil. This is has all been done with the Artworks pencils, um, which I am using up. And I'm enjoying using them. They're actually quite nice. Um, rather than pen. It took longer than if I did it in pen. But it, quite, it looks quite nice. I quite enjoy doing it. So I will be doing more... Uh, mandalas in pencils. I'm going to do one with the, oh, what are they? The pastel low ones, I think, because I've never not actually used those pencils. So I'm going to get them out and do a entire mandala of some sort in that. So that's that one. And next we have 100 Easy Mandalas, colour by number by Satch and Satch Diva. I love this. Let's just take that out. Now I have been using alcohol markers in this. I've been using the twin markers and the Ohuhu markers. But I'm loving it already. So is that the first one? I think that's the first one. Oh, it's so difficult these pages here. So you've got all this stuff. So I've done that one. See how simple they are? And I did that one. I just enjoyed that. I was just sitting there watching TV with Paul. I'm doing these because I think I'm getting COVID because everybody's got COVID in the house and yesterday I, te I did three I only done two I'm going to take that off and yesterday I tested negative but I think I'm going to get it now so yeah I really like this I will be doing more in this book this month I think 
think there's going to be a lot of completed pages in for August because uh, 50 Summer Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. Let's have a look. What have we got? What we did? We did uh, this one. Now, I, I, it looks very dark considering it's summer, but I did this on holiday. Why I went for purple for the flowers, I don't know, but that's what colour I went. I didn't colour the key, but I'm not too worried about that. You can't even see it, so. Yeah, that was fun. I do like this book. I think it's it's lovely. It's a lovely little book. I, I might do some more in that this month. I don't know yet. And then we've got a couple more that I've had hanging around whips for, uh, let me see, six years, probably since before Jennifer was born and I sort of looked at them and thought oh, I don't want to do this but I, I finally finished them so I had one in the Fairyland colouring book which was this and on this person this girl I had a bit of a dress coloured and a bit of the flower coloured and her hair and that was it and I thought you know what I'm going to finish it and this was done using the artworks pencils and I, I like it it looks, it looks really nice it's not too bad actually so although it was hanging around for a long time it, it's fine there's nothing wrong with it I really enjoyed finishing it off so, yeah and then only two more to go Fairy Garden Spring kind of by Deanne Black again I've had a whip in here for like four five six years and it was this one which I started as you can see doing with uh, really bright um, gel pens and I thought I can't even remember which ones they were so I just grabbed the 60 set by Scribblicious the works and used them and it was fine and I used the metallics on the rabbit and yeah I think it looks all right actually I'm quite pleased with the way that came out and why it took me so long to finish I don't know and it's the same with all these whips I'm, I'm finishing these whips and I'm really enjoying myself doing these ones I've never you know they've been hanging around and I'm thinking why haven't I finished them two more pages to go and the next two are both in the butterflies coloring book uh, which again by the same company did Fairyland one now I got these ones free from Carlton Books when I was uh, they sent me a load of books for review on the booktube and I did and they were great and I still like colouring them and the battery's about to go so let's get these two done so I started doing this wallpaper one absolutely years ago and I'd only done a bit of the top one and the second one so I went and started again artworks pencils just went right through it again did the whole thing and the other one was this one I'd started with um, felt tips and I just went in and finished it off. So those are all the pictures I covered in the month of June and July. As you can see, June was very short. July was absolutely manic and I got loads of whips done. I'm so proud of myself for getting rid of those whips. I totally am because I thought I was never going to get rid of them. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the colourings I did in June, July down below. And I will be back soon, very soon, with a colour and chat as well as my book, book wrap-ups and hauls. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.